Columbus Grove can make its first trip back to state since 2003 with a win over Arlington on Saturday. Bulldogs are coming off an impressive 17-7 victory over Tiffin Calvert in the regional semis. And as he has been all season, running back Joey Warnicke carried the load on the ground, rushing for 180 yards and a touchdown. This week, the senior is the subject of our OIO prep profile. For Joey, extending his senior football season to week 13 is a real thrill. It means a lot, you know, it's something we've thought about and watched since we were kids and to be here is a great feeling, and, but we know we've got a lot of work yet to do. We're not done yet. He's just one of those guys that we know that we can count on, um, whether that's uh, in the punting game, in the field goal game, uh, running the ball or even making a tackle at a crucial spot, uh, spot in fourth down. So you know, Joey's a great kid, a great leader, and um, I'm, it's, it's a privilege to coach a kid like that. Wernicke did a little of everything in last week's win over Calvert. He opened the scoring with a 33-yard field goal and gave the Bulldogs momentum with a 46-yard touchdown run early in the third quarter. His ability to do so much on the field is driven by his attitude off it. I try to excel in everything I do. Just always work hard, set a good work ethic with your example and, and help them if they're doing something wrong. You know, Tell them that they're doing something wrong and correct them. He never takes a playoff, and uh, I think the kids see that and they respect that and they want to play hard for him, but he's always just positive. I've never really seen him get on a kid on a negative way. I see the other guys working hard with me, and uh, I just try to work as hard as I can, and they just work as hard as they can, and it's a team thing. So hard to bring down on any given play, Joey led the NWC averaging 8.4 yards per carry during the regular season, and he has amassed 1,551 yards and 17 touchdowns this year. That production has helped lead Grove to five straight wins, and the team is playing its best football headed into the regional finals. It builds a lot of momentum for us. It builds a lot of unity and togetherness, and uh, we're all working hard, and it's, we're, we know that's paying off right now. Saturday, Columbus Grove will meet Arlington at Donnell Stadium, and Grove is preparing for a physical battle. They're a big uh, physical team, and they got a great running back, and um, they're well coached. And, and all we got to do is just execute. You know, I think I think we're a good team too, and a lot of, and I think their coach would say the same thing about us. So you get to that point when you're in week 13. So but we're excited to be here, and we just got to cut down on our mistakes and um, just play good football. A win this weekend, and the Bulldogs are going to the state semifinals. And that's an opportunity Warnicky and the entire community would cherish. It'd mean a lot. You know, it'd mean a lot for our hard work and our trust that's that we've had, and it'd be great for us. It'd be huge, um, yeah, obviously for, for the direction of where we would like to be and obviously we want to win, but uh, wanting to win and, and actually going out and getting that's two different things, but you know, we feel that we have the tools to do that and, and it would be exciting for our school, our community and, uh, and definitely our team, no question. In Columbus Grove, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.